Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna take you guys with me on my first Instacart um, day, I guess. <laughs> I brought all my essential items, which is water, a mask, hand sanitizer, and a phone charger. So I'm ready to go. I kind of know what to expect. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos of people doing basically what I'm doing. And it seems pretty cool. I love shopping like grocery shopping so i feel like i'm gonna do pretty well my strategy today is to pick only stores that i'm familiar with that way i know the layout and i can do everything quicker just because it's my first day i don't want to like go to a new place and like get lost and all that so that's my plan <laughs> we'll see how that goes but yeah i took you guys with me when i did uber a couple weeks ago so i thought this might be interesting since I've never done this before. But yeah, I feel like this video is gonna be pretty long, so let's just get started. There's a storm coming. Okay, I'm just gonna get started now. So I'm gonna show you guys the screen right over here so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So I'm on the, uh, like I'm just on the main uh, screen, like the dashboard. And should I just take this one? Yeah, right now there's only one and it's not very good. So I'm gonna wait and see if I can get a closer one because I don't wanna be driving around. I'd rather just spend time inside the store looking for stuff than driving everywhere and wasting time driving. So I'm gonna wait and I'll let you guys know when I find, when I get another one. I've been waiting for like five minutes and I haven't gotten anything. So I'm just gonna go to the Costco here in my city and just wait and see if that helps. I don't know. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I just got my first order. Uh, it's not too far away and it should be pretty quick. So I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, I'm gonna drive now. It's like really gonna rain. I feel like this is good for me at least because I feel like people are not gonna wanna go out to shop and I'm here for them, you know? <laughs> okay, so it's basically just pop <laughs> and candy, pop and candy. Okay, I guess I can do this quick. Okay, so it's all the way over there. <laughs> oh my god, I can't find it. See, this is why I wanted to pick a store that I was familiar with because now I don't know where anything is. Even though it's something simple. <gasps> I think I found it. Yay! Okay, so I think I I found it. So I think I have to scan it. Yes, found an item. Same price. Pharmacy 101. <gasps> Yay, I got it. <laughs> okay, I found another one. I'm missing a couple, so I don't know what to do. Oh, never mind. Okay, maybe doing it on a rainy day is not the best, but I got everything and now I'm gonna go deliver it. This order was so weird because it was just kind of easy. Uh, I only couldn't find one thing and then I just messaged them. I was like, I can't just replace it for literally the same brand, but like different, uh, like they wanted cans and I offered them bottles and they were like, yeah, it's fine. So that was like the only issue I guess that I had, but yeah, so pretty excited. This has been pretty good. And it's so funny. They live literally like a block away from my house. <laughs> so I'm going back to my house. And then back to shopping. Since that one delivery was so close to my house, I ended up just going home after that one. And I've been waiting to get another one and I haven't gotten any. Actually, I got one, but it was too far away, like way too far. So I was like, I'm just not going to waste my time. And I didn't take it. And that was it. Like I've only gotten that one and that's it. So yeah, it's probably just the time. It's not a good time to come do this. It's now 7 p.m. And I only did one from 4.30 p.m. to 7. So 
I just think the time wasn't good. So, so I'm just gonna try again tomorrow morning and see if it's better to do it in the morning. But yeah, pretty sad. I wanted to do that today, but I guess I'm just not gonna be able to. So yeah, see you tomorrow morning. I'm back. Oh my God, I've been waiting for a batch for a while and I've only gotten ones that are super far away and that don't pay too much so it's kind of a waste of time not like a big waste of time but my goal is to make at least $15 per hour because that's the lowest I want to go personally so I'm just waiting for something that's worth worth my time I guess I don't know I mean with Uber I make over $20 an hour so that's what I'm basing this off because if it's gonna give me less than uber does I might as well just do uber and not worry about this because this is a little bit stressful It's like kind of playing the lottery because you have to be on the app consistently and you have to keep refreshing the Dashboard and you have to like keep looking at it. It doesn't have any notifications that I know of uh, Like you just have to be on the dashboard and just wait for a batch and just accept it right away like you have a couple seconds before someone else takes it. So yeah, it's a little bit stressful. At least Uber, they just send you the order and you have like a couple of seconds to decide if you want to take it or not, if it's worth your time, if you want to do that long drive or whatever. But over here, you have literally like less than five seconds to decide. Like you have to look at everything super quick and just accept it super fast. And I don't really like that. You can't even be on your phone because you have to be on the app. I know Instacart used to do it like Uber and they would just send the one order to like one person and they would have a certain amount of time to accept it or decline it and then it would be sent to a different person if they declined it but oh he just missed the bus <laughs> yikes that sucks but yeah I know they used to do that because I was watching a video and this girl she had four minutes to pick if she wanted to take the order or not now they just send it to everybody at the same time and you have to fight for it basically so it's just so annoying i wish they change it back but i don't know i don't know if it will happen or not in the meantime we just have to sit here and wait i did get like a really good one for like a second when i was just about to take it someone else took it so that's super annoying see like they just keep flash like what they just disappear so quick I've also heard that there's like a third party service that steals the batches, like the best ones, and just resells them. So I think that's also what's happening because this one disappeared within like seconds. So there's no way someone actually like had the time to click on it and accept it. There's no way. Okay, I'll let you know when I take one. Oh my god, I literally just got one for $77 and I swiped all the way through like the whole thing. And then the freaking sign of this batch is unavailable came up. Oh, why? Oh my god. <laughs> that one would have been perfect because even if it took me three hours, it would have been worth it. Oh, I'm so mad. This app sucks. They need to fix this because this is not worth it, to be honest. I've been waiting for a batch for a while. I even like went and had lunch and everything and I still didn't get like a decent one. It's either $9 for something that will take you like an hour and a half. Or they have a $77 one that goes away within like a second. <laughs> oh gosh, so stressful. I tried to take so many but of course I was late for every single one. But I finally just took one. Oh my god, it took me so long. I don't know if it's even worth it, but I just took it. It's 19 something, so let's say $20. And it shouldn't take me too long. I've never been to this store in particular, but it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, let's do it.
make sure you have insulated bags with you. I bought mine from the dollar store. They were literally like three dollars. But this allows you to keep everything at a safe temperature. So make sure you do that before you store anything. And of course, the one thing that I need, they don't have great. All right, so I just finished delivering those two orders. It was actually a pretty easy and pretty straightforward. I didn't know the layout of the store, but it actually, it wasn't that bad. So now I'm not so scared to go to a new store where I've never been before. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, I just took another one. This one's super duper easy. Okay, so the order that I just took, they literally want one thing. And I'm getting paid $9, so that's pretty good. And I'm literally right beside the Costco, so let's just go get this one done too. Yay! I'm super silly and I forgot. Oh my god, is this person waiting for me? Ah! I'm silly and I forgot my camera. Oh my god, I don't know where I'm going. Ah, okay, one sec. All right, I know where I'm going now. So, like I was saying, I'm super silly and I forgot my camera in the car. I'm so sorry I didn't film it. But I basically just walked straight to the main door and I just showed them the membership card that Instacart gives me on the app. And there was a line, but they just let you in because you're with Instacart, you're working, you're not just shopping for yourself. So they just let me in right away. And I just walked straight to the frozen area, grabbed the bag that I needed, and just walked straight to the cashier, paid, and that's literally it. <laughs> I'm back! That was so easy! Oh my god, I love it! I love it! Now we just gotta wait for another one! So like another half an hour until we get one. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. So this is what I ended up getting, two whole carts of stuff and it took me an hour, yay! I'm done for the day yes okay so that last batch I was so scared to take it because within that one batch there were three orders and the list was pretty long so I thought I was gonna get super overwhelmed and annoyed and frustrated but it was actually pretty good there were only like a couple of things that I couldn't find but then I just asked one of the Walmart employees and they helped me find it so it was pretty good the website actually gave, I mean the app, Instacart, gave me two and a half hours to complete it and I did it within an hour, so pretty proud of myself. But you know what really made me mad? One of the customers started texting me while I was driving to my first delivery 
uh, they started texting me. They were like, it's been too long. Like, where's my food and stuff? There's like frozen things in there and stuff. And it's not my fault that Instacart combines three different orders and makes me take forever to complete the order. And then sends me to other people's houses before theirs. Like, oh. Obviously, my reply to them was very nice and very professional. But on the inside, I felt very annoyed by that comment. But whatever. Other than that, everything went well. I think it was a pretty good first day. Uh, I just wanted to get used to the app and how it works. And like, I just wanted to know what to expect. And now I know. So I think I'm going to start doing it more often. And also, I'm going to start accepting more batches. I think today I was skipping... A little too many just because I didn't want to drive too far or just all the little things but I think I'm gonna start taking more if I'm gonna take this more seriously but yeah for those of you that are curious if Instacart is better than Uber um, I don't know if you can compare them because Uber is better for you if you're okay with using your car a lot like if you're okay with driving back and forth back and forth and being in your car the whole time it's fine but if you like shopping you're fast and you can lift heavy weights then maybe you should try instacart if you do decide to try it you should definitely use my referral code which is going to be down below in the description box but yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up share it comment down below also subscribe follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video bye